Hey world, it's Chatty Daddy One. Um, I have run out of time there, and I apologize. Um, I have tried it, but with the glare off the computer and all, there's just too much light. I'm not able to. Uh, make this shine. I mean, it doesn't spark off huge, but imagine if I had two pieces was rubbing together that weighed 50 tons each. Get two pieces equal to about this size And rub them together real fast or strike them together you'll see what I'm talking about it, it lights up it lights up and it leaves a uh, faint smell of burnt like like gunpowder or something it's a trip but I'm I apologize I feel like a, I feel like a because of that. But anyhow, um, didn't want to leave you hanging in the dark from that. But remember, um, you know, we have all, all kind of alternative things that we can do and use. Um, we can make our own candles. We all need to learn how to so, and uh, tan leather of all kinds of animals, and uh, we need to learn all, all the stuff, the basic necessities of, you know, survival, and um, one more little thing that I show you if you take for instance a a uh, if you want to know where a tree is going to land and you got to cut it down or it's going to fall down and you're afraid it might fall on your house or something like that get get back from the tree and take something and hold it like this out and pull your finger down to where it's as equally high as the tree and then just lean it over and if it's touching the structure over here in your view you know then it'll hit, it'll hit it. But that's one way of being able to determine uh, the distance of, of uh, where a tree is going to fall and other things too. Um, like if you uh, have silk, um, you can rub small piece of metal, a pin or something on silk and it'll magnetize it. You can also rub two pieces of metal together very, very fast and it'll magnetize it for you. Um, you can make a compass. But, um, you know, you might want to have a, and, and I'll, you know, another thing, Y'all, another thing that I would say would be good to have is this right here. Because we're probably going to be dealing with some uh, solar issues. And don't trust sunscreen for this stuff. You're going to want your whole body covered. Um, wrap 
yourself up. Stock up on salt. Salt is going to be worth gold. It's going to be just as valuable as gold. And um, <clears throat> so is a lot of these things that we're mentioning today. Um, some good books. Family. People. Get close with your family. Your family is so important. They need you and you need them. You need each other for everybody's best interest. Even God's. God wants you to be happy. He doesn't want us to be unhappy at all. That's the other guy that wants that. And, um, you know, Einstein said himself, the more and the more he learned about the universe and its unbelievable expansions and equations that he came up with, the more and more he had to, uh, you know, had to realize that somebody put it in play, somebody put it in motion. <clears throat> the Big Bang Theory, he needed a diffuse. <laughs> and there could have been a Big Bang, but somebody had to light the fuse on that Big Bang. <clears throat> but that's, you know, that's my opinion. And everybody is entitled to their opinion. That's the right um, that the Constitution gives us. <coughs> it's the freedom of speech. But um, we all must be careful out there. And a lot of people are losing hope these days, these times, but remember, you are your best employer. You're the only one that's stopping you from making money and earning money. Don't give up. Don't, don't give up. Don't let them win. Yeah, don't let them win. Oh, by the way, another thing. With these things here. You see that? That's just, um... You know, I'm a, I'm a gunsmith. I took a course in gunsmithing, and um, I just rigged that up because I didn't have the money to buy a, a whole new mechanism, which is what they wanted me to do. <clears throat> Let's go figure. And um, anyways, another good thing to have is one of these. One of these here. Yeah. Dark. <laughs> Dark lights. You can operate on them, doctor. The uh, infrared setting.
but if you can get used to walking around and looking at things with this red light because the red spectrum is the least visible in the forest and the woods at night and plus it'll help greatly if you have night vision equipment with you um, another good little trick guys you know them sticks that you can break this is a little not a booby trap that will hurt anybody but it's a good little alert system you know the uh, shake and break packets where you shake them up and you break them and they glow. Okay, take one of those or several of them. Take some uh, fishing line or some really light colored string. Um, take your iridescent light, take it out of the wrapper, and just undo the, the one end, break it, shake it up, and place it back in there very gently, and then crinkle the end with the rope tied on to it, tied on to a tree, okay, and then have the other end of the wrapper stapled, taped, whatever, to something so that when somebody comes through there, they're going to trip on that wire, but there won't be a bomb go off or anything, but there will be whew, light. It'll light up the place. And if they're wearing night vision, they will be blind and you will be able to see little trick, good little tip. Anyway, I hope <laughs> I hope some of this stuff that I'm talking to you guys about will help somebody. Um, <clears throat> oh, one one other thing that's um, very vital that is important for you to have is one of the whetstone. That way you can take a and a file. That way you can take any piece of metal, even a piece of aluminum. You can sharpen that puppy up enough to shave you and to um, skin your animals and your clothing and your material and all that kind of stuff. But anyhow, um, that's about it for now. I'll get into some other stuff later. It's late and I'm fixing to go on, go to bed. And I uh, love y'all and I appreciate you. And I enjoy doing this for you. And uh, we'll have maybe our next one, we'll get together and I'll show you guys how to do this, this little stove. But they work really good. I've used them camping many times. And, um, uh, Anyhow, everybody, um, God bless and good luck. This is Chatty Daddy One.